<sighs> this is it this is us doing yet another day for me this is a wednesday it is roughly around uh 10 10 30 10 20 a.m in the morning and i will be recording rohero rohero 2 today it's a neighborhood that's not so far from home and uh it's right below kiriri so uh i'll be right back shortly after this uh entry video don't go anywhere Alright, welcome back everyone. This is not so burned in here. And uh today we are exploring Quartier Quartier Rohero. It's a neighborhood uh It's uh, let's just say it's uh right at the center of uh no, not at the center of the city, no. But it's a neighborhood that is about five to four kilometers away from Kigobe and about a minute or two minute drive from um, Kiriri. And uh, yeah, it's a fairly large neighborhood. And that's what we're going to be exploring today. And uh, just like uh, Kinindo, most of the houses here are <laughs> hidden behind walls. So a lot of what you're going to see is just... Uh, the walls that are the, uh, the walls that are covered in green like this one here or roofs a roof that's that's uh, sticking out above the wall other than that ever so occasionally are you going to come across a two-story building and hopefully this time around i'll keep i'll manage to keep the video below below 25 minutes that's the embassy of congo i think that's the congolese flag isn't it yes it is this is uh one of those neighborhoods that compete with uh kinindo and um kabondo as far as the size of the compounds is concerned uh, <laughs> the compounds that are here are bigger it's these, 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 these ones here are extra big. All these are like old school neighborhoods from back in the day when land was cheap, so to speak. And uh, on this side over here is uh, Université de Burundi, which is uh, within that compound over there. When we're on when we're on this road, we concentrate. Uh, our focus is everything on the left side. When we're on the other side, it'll be everything on the right side. So let's dive in and take a left and continue on with the exploration. So just like always, guys, I cannot uh, continue on with the video without first appreciating all of my subscribers everybody that is currently subscribed to the channel right now <laughs> I mean just a few days back I was uh, celebrating reaching a milestone of a thousand subscribers and as I'm talking to you right now I am currently at uh, 1. Uh, 1.1 K and something and some change so yeah anyway let me not forget to be focusing on the houses i usually tend to forget that a lot so hopefully i remember every now and then okay there's a huge patch of empty land here i don't know what this is about but uh an empty patch of land in in in, in Rohero. this is very peculiar but then again it seems like there used to be a football field here of some kind i don't know 
or it's a land that's government owned. I don't know, but there, you, there used to be a football field though. I can see, I see the signs of a football field. But it's very peculiar that you should find a patch of land this big, unused in uh, the city, in the city center. But anyway, moving on. Those of you that live in the neighborhood, you know how we do it. Acknowledge that you live here by commenting in the comment section. Okay, this pavement is way too hard for my liking. The vibrations here are crazy. They need to add sand onto the pavement to make it easier to ride on. Moving on. See, I was saying, if you live in the neighborhood, comment in the comment section. But people that live in Rojero most likely usually come back every now and then. So I doubt that I will be invoking nostalgia in some of you. And ever so occasionally do you come across two-story buildings like that. Whew. See ya, that's where I came from. Hold on, let's turn around for a second to have a better view of where I just came from. This is it. Okay. That's a beautiful scene right there. Let's dive in deeper. So anything beyond this point is something that I um, haven't seen before myself. I haven't been on this side of uh, Rojero, but um, let's see. Well, hold on, scratch that. I'd actually be lying. I have been here. This is where Sun Safari Hotel used to be. And currently the hotel is called uh, something. I'm not gonna tell you guys that because that is for my next video. I will be doing something that has something to do with this place. But let's explore some more. Yes, sir. Hey, go, bro. This is that patch of empty land looking at it from the back. Hold on. So everything beyond this point is something that I haven't uh, seen before. I am very much a tourist, just like you are on the video. And like I said, it is extremely rare that you come across um, two-story buildings in this neighborhood. Very rare. So. Yeah. And uh, a big shout out to any of my subscribers that uh, share the videos with a fellow, with their fellow, fellow Burundians living out there from wherever it is that you come from. I appreciate it big time. You guys are the reason why the channel is currently growing at the rate that it is. And uh, a big shout out to all of you guys that a big shout out also to all of you guys that uh, watch my videos all the way to the end. A big shout out too to everybody that watches the ads without skipping. That also helps. And especially now that I 
was recently monetized. It helps that uh, you guys don't skip the ads or just watch a little bit of the ad before you skip it, like at least 10 seconds into the ad. So we are going to try and explore as much of Rahira as we possibly can. And I think I have to change my method of exploration now. I want to be going... I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, you'll see. I see a road over there that dives into Rohiro. If you've been watching any one of my previous videos, you guys are familiar with this road. It's uh, the road that I descended down on on the second video on my channel the second video on burundi okay i feel like i'm missing way too much by going down this road but okay let's just dive in ahead let's take a left right here That pavement is really hard. I am vibrating. <laughs> Holy crap. And I hope the camera is not facing too upwards, but okay. Let's see. The best way to explore this neighborhood is to go up and down. We have a hospital here. Like I said, there's really nothing much to see as far as uh, the compounds are concerned. Everything is hidden behind the walls. That and the fact that most of the houses here are just one level. Up ahead is one two-story building. It's like for every hundred there is one that's two stories high. I'm currently riding right beside the ditch here so I can avoid the pavement. Hopefully I don't slip in there as I turn my head to show you guys something on the side. So I was actually planning on talking about a couple of subjects today, but Forgot most of them. I don't know. Oh, okay. I remember now. So, um, yeah, I was actually, yeah, so I know that there's a, there's quite a good number of you that uh, visit Burundi in the summer holidays or the Christmas holidays. And uh, basically what I wanted to say is, hold on, let's uh, peep into what's in here. The left side, it's a compound. I don't know what that is. So yeah, I was saying to those of you that um, plan on coming back home for the summer, for the summer holidays, uh, 
basically what I wanted to say is um, you know okay so I I had a, a plan or let's just say a project where I wanted to be uh, playing videos in particular schools like say every Friday one hour before the end of the school hours just uh, playing videos on any particular subject really like you have a computer you have a projector you have a projector screen and you pick a particular class in a particular school and you play videos on that particular day it could be a video on uh, cars in the in the uh, in the production line it could be a video on um, I don't know hold on let's peep in left to right see so yeah it could be videos on uh, cars in the line of production it could be videos on uh, medicine it could be videos on uh, space exploration and, and uh, astronauts basically it could just be a it could be particular videos that explain um, the science and engineering behind uh, various things and uh, the videos could have a voice a voiceover in French or a voiceover in Kurundi uh, a video that's about like uh, 45 minutes to an hour long you know just to inspire kids and uh, show them that uh, you know inspiring kids and showing uh, and giving them an understanding of the scope of the career choices that are out there or helping them understand what it is they can do with what they learn in school other than people just basically being used to uh, management law and civil engineering as a career choice you know just videos that inspire kids so to those of you that plan to come back in the summer I would encourage you especially in groups to uh, think about buying a projector and a laptop oh, hold on let's dive in here a projector a laptop and the projecting and the uh, projector screen and uh, donate it to a given to a given school something that they can use to be uh, playing the videos and showcasing them to the students so we take a left or do we take a right <laughs> you know and uh, you don't even have to necessarily uh, donate it to a school because you know <laughs> you can't really trust people with uh, taking care of uh, equipment you know not everybody has uh, an understanding or I mean the school administration is not wouldn't be part of the agenda that we have so they might not necessarily take care of the equipment the way it's supposed to so I don't know you guys can get a projector can get a laptop it doesn't have to be anything fancy just a, a regular old laptop of, uh, of about I don't know 8 GB RAM or 4 GB RAM Intel Core i5 something that can just play that can just you know play videos on YouTube and you know whatever and then we could uh, and then we can make a plan as to how we will be going about um, and then we can make a plan of how we will be going about um, visiting the different schools and uh, you know playing the videos okay I was talking too much on that particular thing and I think 
I've lost my point. But yeah, you guys get it though. You understand. So I guess any further discussions can be had in the comment section or I don't know. We'll figure out a way. So yeah. Okay. It is uh, slightly a bit harder than I thought to explore this neighborhood. Because uh, the pavement here is unforgiving. It is extremely rough. I wouldn't be surprised if I've already done 20 minutes and it feels like just five minutes. So, I mean, I'm currently in Rojero 2. There's, uh, there's two of them or three of them, I don't know. I think it's two. Rojero 1 and 2. Why do I feel like I've already been down this road? No, I haven't. Okay. Let's peep in. Start with the right side. Peep in to the left. And, uh, yeah. Let's continue on. So let's see, what else did I want to talk about? Yeah, there was a particular subscriber that uh, asked me the question, is, is Burundi safe? It was a comment in my previous video when somebody was asking, how safe is Burundi? Or, is Burundi safe? And the answer to that question is, well, Burundi has uh, so far been off the news, the negative news that is, anything war related. We haven't had an incident that is uh, majorly destructive since 2015 or rather now let me just say since 2016 because 2015 is when some stuff happened so since 2016 to 2022 the year that we're currently in right now there really there really hasn't been any incidences that are disruptive enough to be to have Burundi be considered unpeaceful that's my answer to that question well that's a part of my answer the other part of the answer is that um, it's been uh, well since 2016 that's four years to 2020 and currently six years it's been six years with no incident and peace isn't really the concern of many Burundians right now, those of us that live in a country that is, peace is not really the concern that we have. Our concern right now is the levels of unemployment and uh, poverty, so to say, you know, for lack of a better word. I mean, unemployment does lead to poverty because people don't find jobs to work, so yeah. That's the problems that we're having currently, and that's the problems. Those are the problems that Burundians are currently concerned with. As far as as far as uh, poverty is concerned, well, uh, the dollar rate is currently extremely high in Burundi. Um, in a fairly stable economy, where uh, an economy that balances uh, exports and imports would fairly, would not be having a problem with the dollar. 
So we have a problem with, uh, with finding the dollar in a sense that usually people would go to banks looking for dollars and would go to... Yeah, usually people would go to banks looking for dollars, but currently uh, the dollar reserves in the country are very low. And so people are unable to access the dollar anywhere. And as a result, the prices of things tend to increase in the country. You know, which leads to inflation and just the inability to have enough money to spend on things that we want and need. If I'm if I was to just sum everything up to the things that most Burundians are concerned about right now. So yeah. Is Burundi peaceful? Yes, it is. Is Burundi, um, are we good out here? 40% uh, of us are, 30% uh, of us are, the other 70 is really trying to figure life out on a day-to-day -day basis. Mostly because there, there aren't enough jobs to cover everyone that's out here. No economy has, but our situation is uh, a bit extreme. Again, for lack of a better word. There are no jobs for everyone. There are no... Um, the environment is not conducive for business currently in the sense that uh, the dollar rate is really high. The dollar... Uh, small businessmen can only find the dollar in the black market and the black market is offering the dollar at very 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 high rates which causes the general price of goods to increase also so yeah small businessmen are finding it really hard and yeah so to say so what most Burundians are currently concerned about is the ability to come by money. Peace isn't really it. It hasn't been for five, six years. We've been good. We're just focusing on money right now. And money isn't really easy to come across as it is. So yeah. Turn to the right and dive in once more. You have a massage and sauna here, <laughs> which is what a lot of of, uh, of compounds here tend to do. They they convert the compounds into. Uh, massage and sauna parlors and uh, Airbnbs and restaurants and bars, you know, just to earn an extra income, really. So, yeah, that's to answer that question of uh, is Burundi peaceful or not. What else was I planning on talking about today? Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Just give me a second as I try to remember. Oh, it's a garbage truck over here. If you were eating, I'm so sorry that you had to see that. Well, I guess I can throw in one of my own stuff, which is, uh, again, I'll be mentioning this every now and then for every video that I upload. And that is uh, for anybody that wishes to help out the channel, 
now that I am currently monetized, you can do that by um, watching a huge uh, chunk of my videos. At least about 75% of the video, view about 75% of the video, you know, without uh, switching off or leaving too early. But then again, you know, you have to be enjoying the video. So I'm not saying that you force yourself to watch my videos. If you are enjoying my videos, watch them all the way through. If, um, and if you see an ad, especially the uh, skippable ads, watch a huge chunk of them. Usually you can skip an ad after five seconds. But if you can, in order to support me, watch at least 10 seconds of the ad or watch it all the way through. It really helps with my with the income that I'll be making on YouTube and uh, I don't even really put that many ads into my videos and uh, the intervals between one ad from the other is very huge compared to other channels so please watch every single ad and uh, that's pretty much it really <sighs> So that's pretty much it. So yeah, and uh, for those of you that want to take it a step further with uh, with supporting my channel, you can do that by going to my uh, Patreon and subscribing over there. I plan to be posting pictures that I take in random places in the city and posting them on my Patreon page for you guys to view. So you can support me over on Patreon. I will leave the link. I usually leave the link in the first comment that is in the first comment that is pinned above all above all other comments. There you will find my Patreon link and the link to my PayPal. To those of you that want to take it a step further with uh, supporting me, I'll appreciate anything you drop there. Anything at all, really. No big deal. I'm not very demanding. <laughs> Hold on, let's take a peek here. Okay, honestly, Rohiro is a bush. I'm not even gonna front. The whole area is really just a bush. And there are no houses for you guys to see. I swear, I'm just touring the, the pavement at this point. So yeah, that's what you guys should do if you wanna support the channel. And uh, other than that, now that I'm currently monetized, I'm going to try and make, I'm going to be making videos uh, more than once a week. I'm going to try and do it twice a week or even more, you know, just to maximize the potential of my earnings. So yeah, a big shout out to everybody that uh, made me get this far. <sighs> Right now, I am somewhere deep within Rohiro. I don't even know where I currently am right now. And I'm not quite sure of the boundaries that separate Rohiro 1 from Rohiro 2. I know they're separated by a tarmac road, but we'll figure that out. And I'm pretty sure I have exceeded the 30 minute mark by now, I can tell. Oh. Let's see, let me try and remember a couple of questions that you guys have been having for me. Hmm. Let's go down here and explore this area gonna be hard figuring out a thumbnail pick that I want to take Whew. okay a little bit of smooth oh wow <laughs> let's peep in here let's actually dive in here
So yeah. Other than that, you know, most of uh, Burundians, most of us out here are really just trying to crack the code. We're trying to find ways of, uh, find non-traditional ways of making money. You know, not all of us can be employed in the government. Not all of us can even be employed in the private sector because the jobs are, li are really, honestly, they're limited everywhere. Private or business, private or government sector, it doesn't matter. The jobs are really limited all over. What Burundi currently needs right now is people that are coming up with their own stuff, which is what most of us are trying to do. You got uh, musicians that are currently making a, dis a decent living on YouTube. You have comedians, you have uh, people that start their own uh, TV channels, so to speak, on YouTube. You know, then there's me, I don't know. I guess I'm part of that group too. So yeah, we're all trying to, it's a little nursery school here. We're all trying to crack the code somehow. Okay. I'm gonna have to work on the uh, roller bear roller bearings after this. In my wheel hub, is uh, this kind of road you usually tends to shake up the uh, the hub, and the wheel begins to wobble in place. There's still a huge chunk of the neighborhood left for us to explore. Let's check it out. See here, we're good, we're good. For the most part, we're good. We just need money. We all need more money. Everybody wants enough money to be able to build a house, send their kids to school without having to worry about the finances. And every so now, and every so now and then, be able, also be able to take a month off a year with enough savings and just choose to Enjoy life. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah. One other thing that I wanted to talk about was that uh, I plan on, you know, doing a a little mini series. Uh, the title of the series you know it uh the main theme will be um building a house in burundi and so if you've made it this far into the video and you hear me say this right now i want you to leave a comment and just uh help give me a set of questions that you want answered as far as uh building a house in burundi is concerned and I will use those questions into uh, formulating my script, the script of the mini series. So yeah, leave the questions in, t in the comment section for those of you that want to know um, anything related to building a house in Burundi. And that's going to help me, uh, um, you know, it's going to help in the script of my upcoming video um, my upcoming mini series so i think we are done with rohero 2 if i'm not mistaken um on the left side i don't think there's anything over there we're pretty much done with that so yeah <laughs> and uh, I've heard of uh, I've heard of other YouTubers uh, having problems with the law, with the police, uh, with the police when it comes to vlogging in Burundi. 
I haven't experienced that yet as I speak. Not at all. I guess maybe because uh, my way of recording is not so blatant. Like I'm not I'm not out here with a camera in my hands and looking and looking um what's the word I'm looking for? And looking uh, deliberate, if I should say. Like it's not the traditional um, I'm not the kind of person that you would be able to traditionally uh, identify as somebody that is recording. I have my camera mounted on my helmet, a little camera. And yeah, I guess that's the reason why I haven't encountered such problems. <laughs> I've had people have uh, an altercation with the police, being accused of uh, so many things and even having to pay a little bit just to get out of the situation, but I haven't encountered such. And I think for the most part, it's because of the way I look. I am uh, somewhat of a bigger person. Okay, I'm not big. Shit, I'm... I, <laughs> sorry, I'm 5'8", I think. 5'8", 5'9". Hold on. I'm 5'... Uh, I don't know. I think... I used to think I'm 5'10". 5'10", 5'11". But who knows, I'm in between 5'9 and 5'11". Feet. So, yeah. And I'm slightly bigger. That and uh, the way that I dress, I guess, uh, looks to be... I don't know. I guess it makes me look like the kind of person that you wouldn't want to get in an altercation with because I have uh, ways of defending myself as far as connections is concerned. I don't know. Let's just say that I look official. I, I don't look, I don't look typical. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, I, I, I haven't encountered problems with the, uh, <laughs> with police. But thankfully though, uh, I saw a YouTube on video, a YouTube that was addressing the, the president's comment. I think uh, the president uh, mentioned something that was uh, supporting uh, YouTubers. So, yeah. I think the overall um, uh, pr uh, perception on people with cameras is uh, ch changing, you know? So, yeah. So, um, guys, anyway, this is the end of the video. Um, I think I have uh, completed Rero 1, and there are definitely parts of the neighborhood that I haven't explored. That much I know. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Let's just get to the end of the road and call it a day. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One more thing, right? One more thing. Um, I don't know how many of you out there, um, uh, do indoor cycling. I heard that, you know, indoor cycling is a thing out there. If any of you do that and you like to do it with a screen, with a screen, with a screen in front of you, and are hoping to have a taste of uh, videos from a different place, from a different location of the world, you know, such as Africa. Uh, let me know if it's you that um, does indoor cycling or if you know people that do indoor cycling or if you know a particular gym where that's a thing and they have screens on built into the system built into the uh the uh what do you call it you know those uh cycles that people use or if it's a screen uh, on the wall and then you put your little bike your stationary bike in front of the screen and 
Okay, yeah, you know what I mean. If you know anybody that does that, or if it's you, let me know. Uh, maybe I can also incorporate those those sorts of videos on the channel. Like I'll just create a separate playlist for videos that have something to do with uh, for videos meant for people that cycle indoors. So let me know in the comment section. Other than that, that's it for this video. It's the end of uh, Road Road 2. I am... I'm gonna be heading home now. Or... If I have enough of uh, battery left, I'll just... Uh, head on and record. Other parts of the neighborhood. But as far as uh, Rero is concerned, I am done. So I'll see you guys next time. This is not so burned in here. I'm signing out. Bye bye. Whew. Yo, this pavement is no joke, man. <laughs>